Hello guys, thanks for joining this session. In this session, we are going to discuss about creating data frames in Pandas. So let's jump into the Jupyter Notebook and from where we will discuss about the data frame concept as well as we will also know about how to create data frame. So we are into the Jupyter Notebook. Now the question over here is what actually data frames is. So data frame is one of the common way by which you can bring the data in the Pandas context. So in this session, we will look into how we can create data frames with different mechanism. First, we will look into how to create data frames using JSON data. Then we will look into how we can create the same data frames using list. Once we understand that, then we will look into how to create multiple column data frames. Then we will also look into the example where we will use list of JSON data and that we will use to create the data frames. And at last, we will look into how we can brought in the CSV data within Pandas with the help of data frame. So in that aspect, we will create data frame from CSV. So now let's start the exercise. So first we are going to do import of Pandas library. To do that, I am going to insert by clicking B over here. It will give us this line to provide the input. So I am going to write import Pandas as PD shift enter. This is one of the standard approach whenever you are importing pandas you have to specify pd how we were doing for numpy when we are importing numpy we were using np so for pandas case we are going to use pd so now it is being imported now let's look into how we can create the data frame using json so here again i will press b then i will get this line over here and i'm going to first create the json data so i'm going to use my favorite example fruit ball if you have been following my course i'm very fond of fruits so i'm using this as an example and over here i'm going to keep a column called fruits which will contain different list of fruits so here i will specify within the codes i need to specify apple comma oranges grape banana this is one of the column again i am going to specify another column called price and over here i will specify apple price is 100 rupees orange price is 150 rupees kg and grape right 200 rupees kg 60 rupees now the next step we need to use this json to create the data frame so to create the data frame we have to follow this syntax so first click b over here and then you need to write data frame one variable we need to create df json equal to and over here we need to specify that pd dot data frame and over here you need to specify the fruit ball json which you have created now shift enter it throws an error so we will specify the single quotes as it is a requirement from the json side so you should keep the key value in within the code here i did a mistake in the spelling name shift enter now now you will find that it has created the data frame so let's verify it let's print the data frame over here print df json shift enter then you will find that it has created a data frame let's check the type over here type df json shift enter so you will see it over here it is a data frame so this is one of the way by which you can create the data frame using json data now we will do the same thing and we will create the data frames using list so let's do it select this one press b then it will give us this one and over here we will specify a list we will call it fruit list and uh, and we will tell that apple orange and grapes shift into and and here you should write data frame list equal to pd dot data frame and within that you can pass fruit list and over here you can print it so that we will look into what actually this data frame list contain and you will see that here we have created a data frame and this data frame doesn't contain any column name but it contains the same tabular structure now suppose if you want to introduce another column in this data frame so how do you can do that to do that you need to create another list i am going to tell that price equal to and over here you need to specify 100 200 and over here you can 300 and this time instead of one list i am going to pass two list over here i am call it as price but you should make sure that 
you should zip it else you will not get the multi column data frame we will tell that it is a list and now do shift enter then you will find that it has created a multi column data frame with the help of list so here we have created a multi column data frame with the help of lists but here you will find that this 0 and 1 is not very intuitive and we are not getting what actually it is so we want a mechanism to specify the custom column name whenever we are creating data frame with the help of list so to do this pandas offers us different kind of data frame method that is overloaded method and this contains two parameter and we will call it columns and here we will specify the list where we can tell which column is having what name so for example zeroth column i am going to tell that fruit or say fruits comma and over here we will tell that price now press shift enter and you will find that we have specified the custom column name whenever we are creating data frame using list so now let's proceed further so we have covered this exercise creating multiple columns data frame now we can directly proceed to number four and we will look into how we can create a data frame using list of JSON data. So let's first create list of JSON data. So press B and now over here we will specify list JSON and within list I am going to create JSON. So to create JSON we need to specify the curly braces. So you can specify some multiple curly braces. I am going to create three JSON data over here. So first one fruit and over here we will specify again apple and this will contain also the price. So let's specify price tell it 100 and take this data I am going to copy paste it and specify over here orange and here specify the price 200 and again paste the same over here and this time I am going to specify gray price is 300 take it any value now once it is being done shift into so we have created list of JSON now the next step we need to create the data frame and where we will use this list JSON so press B over here and now here we will tell that DF list JSON equal to PD dot data frame and within that I am going to pass list JSON let's print this data frame as well print df list json shift into and you will find that we have created the data frame using list of json data so this is one of the mechanism by which you can create the data frame so now we will look into how to create data frame from csv suppose that if we are having some data and which is residing into the csv so how we can bring into pandas context so let's look into that so guys to create data frame from csv what we need to do we need to use read underscore csv method of pandas so how we will use it let's look into that press b over here and prior to writing any code i wanted to show you where i am having the data so guys this is the location where i am having this file which i am using it for the demonstration and within this folder exercise folder we are having a data folder and within that i am having this fruit ball dot csv if you will look into that then you will find that we have a three entries over here and the entries is same which we were using earlier we are having two columns and their respective data and i am going to bring this data within the pandas context with the help of read underscore csv method so let's close this one and let's jump into the jupyter notebook so let's specify a variable name called csv and here write pd dot read underscore csv and here we need to specify the path we are having the csv file within the data folder so you need to specify data and within that we are having fruit ball dot csv and here we can print the data frame df csv shift enter then you will find that it had read this csv data and it has made a data frame if you will check the type then you will find that it is a data frame so let's check it type and here you need to specify df csv shift into then you will find that it is also a data frame so this way you can create data frame using csv and this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session see you in the next session till then bye bye take care